Hey there, this is Lady Jamers with this month's Did You Know? And I am doing the Christmas Cow Silent Night. All the information is going to be in the description on my links and everything. And here's the show. It's Christmas Eve, 1818, in Oberndorf, Salzburg, Austria. The church organ is not working again. Is it mice? Is it rust? Will they even have a Christmas service? Well, Father Joseph Muir and organist Franz Gruber get together and they write a song. And it, the service is saved. That song is Silent Night. But wait a moment. There is more to the story. And this story starts in 1816 when Joseph Muir, a young priest in Marifar, Salzburg, wrote a poem, and this is the words to the Christmas Carol Silent Night. A year later, he is transferred to the parish of St. Nicholas in the village of Oberndorf. He gives this uh, poem to his organist, Franz Gruber, and Franz Gruber writes the music to the song. On Christmas Eve, 1818, Muir is on guitar, singing tenor. Gruber is singing baritone to their song. And little did they know that while they were singing to the congregation, they were making history. The congregation loved this song. And soon it became a success. Now, what happened after that night? Joseph Muir uh, left the parish and then went from church to church and um, went on with his life while Franz Gruber uh, got married, had children, and enjoyed the fame of being the sole writer of the song Silent Night. In 1833, the first verifiable publication of the song went public, and since then, it has been translated into over 300 languages. And there are five different versions, believe it or not. But, you know, what really did happen? Uh, basically, Muir... Uh, part in the whole thing was lost to history for a while. Um, he would tell people that he wrote the words, but it didn't really sink in to uh, other people. He died of a lung ailment in December of 1848. Uh, Gruber in December of 1854, wrote a, um, a certificate saying, hey, both of us wrote the song. Joseph Muir should get credit too. So basically, that is why on everything, we know that both of them wrote it now. Um, Franz Gruber passed away in June of 1863. Now, what happened to the original church that, uh, you know, where they sang the song? 
Now that original church uh, was damaged by floodwaters in the 1890s. And in 1924, the town replaced it with a smaller chapel called the Silent Night Chapel. They put it in the same place as the original, and there are stained glass windows uh, that are dedicated to both Joseph Muir and Franz Gruber. Um, the chapel was completed and blessed in 1937. And um, I'll show you some pictures of that chapel in the picture montage after all the f fun talking. <laughs> now, to me, one of my favorite parts of uh, Christmas Eve service is when we uh, sing Silent Night with uh, candlelight. That, to me, is so peaceful and it's just beautiful. Uh, basically, in my church, uh, the minister will go to the Advent wreath and uh, take a light from the Christ candle in the middle and then light the acoly uh, acolytes uh, lights, the people who collect the, uh, the money when you, uh, you know, for the church. And what they do is they go to each row and everybody has a candle and they light it and it has a little cardboard shield so you don't have to worry about your hand getting burned and they turn out the lights and everybody sings along and it is just magic really magic so that to me is the part of the magic of christmas and it's all thanks to Joseph Muir and Franz Gruber. And um, so we have to thank them along with everybody else for um, this wonderful, beloved hymn. S next month, I will be doing Did You Know About Snow White? And as I said, all the information is going to be in the description box. And I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season. This is Lady Jamer saying like, subscribe, tell your friends. Have a wonderful day. Take care and see you later.